Welcome to Divine Intel, following God's promises through the prophetic word. And now, here is your host, Benny Wilson. Welcome to Divine Intel, and man, that was a long, a long uh, introduction to my show, but it was necessary because I'm gonna, I'm going to make a confession and a testimony of for for it just happened about two hours ago because I forgot, I totally forgot, and the Lord spoke to me. And about an hour ago, and uh, and I gotta tell you what happened. But I'm gonna call my my pastor McGrady, uh, not not pastor McGrady McCoy. Uh, let me call pastor McCoy right now, and uh, I wanna explain to you what happened. Um, just about two hours ago, uh, when the Lord spoke. Actually, it wasn't the Lord. It was the Ark. Ar Archangel Michael, he spoke to me. The the angel Michael, Archangel Michael, spoke to me uh, about two hours ago, and this is what it's all about. Bienvenidos a Intel Divino. Quiero darles a entender uh, algo que me pasó hace dos horas, y te voy a decir lo que me pasó. Me 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 habló el Arcángel Miguel, y me dio una una un mensaje. So vamos a Déjame explicarte qué es lo que pasó. Voy a llamar a la, a la pastora Macoy ahorita. All right, guys. So, hold on. Let me just... Uh, let me call my Macoy right now. And we're going to continue with the show. Hopefully, she answered the phone. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. Thank you. And how are you? Uh, good. I uh, was shocked about two hours ago. Sounds exciting. Ah, uh, yes. Yes and no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yes and no. Uh, let me explain uh, in Spanish first. Tell okay? us. Tell us. Yeah. Okay, vamos a... Te voy a explicar ahorita lo que pasó. Lo voy a explicar... I'm going to explain in Spanish first. Uh, hace dos okay. horas... Si tú te diste cuenta en la mañana, yo hice un Facebook Live y puse puras canciones de, de Dios, como alabanzas de Dios. Y las puse en inglés y en español. Y yo no sé por qué el Señor le, me pidió que lo alabara, porque es lo que yo sentí. Dios, yo sentí que Dios quiso que lo alabara hoy. Y me fui con esa espinita, salí de la casa y me fui con esa espinita. Ya cuando venía de regreso en el Uber, cuando yo venía de regreso en el Uber, uh, empecé a ver mi celular y de repente escuché la voz de, un, de, de, de alguien, pero no sabía de quién era. Y solamente me dijo, esta es la ira de Dios. Y cuando dijo, esta es la ira de Dios, me asusté. Y el, y el conductor del Uber escuchó y él pensó que estaba escuchando mi celular y dijo, ¿me hablabas? Le dije, no. O sea que él también escuchó al arcángel Miguel. Y esto es lo que me dijo, que está pasando ahorita el, la ira de Dios. Ahorita te explico más. All right, guys. So what happened was, as you know, guys, I was... Um, Early this morning, remember, you noticed that early this morning I started, uh, I did a Facebook Live, right? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, no. you didn't know that? No, I didn't know. Jesus, what were you doing? What were you doing? Anyway, let me show working. you. This is the, uh, if you can see your computer, this is the uh, the Facebook Live. And Nicole, may, may our Lord 
peace with, may our Lord peace peace is within you. And I was uh, I was basically you know praising the Lord right. I was praising the Lord, and I start playing you know a lot of music, a lot of songs. You can see a lot of uh, you know uh, angels. Yeah. And I spot you know I play this uh, Arguello, this guy with his wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Uh, I love that. And all that. Uh, so I was praising the Lord. I was praising the Lord and I felt a lot of love from my Lord, right? Mm -hmm. So I felt that the Lord wanted me to praise Him, right? And um, I want people, the whole world, to praise Him, you know, because I love Him. So what happened was that I left with that, but I had a feeling, I had a, I had a very, very strong feeling that something was going on. So... I left and I did my errands, right? Mm -hmm. And on the way back, I took my Uber. And I was just watching everybody's messages and news and whatever. And all of a sudden, I heard this voice. And it was not God. Mm. It was the Archangel Michael. Oh. And he says, the wrath of, the, uh, the wrath of God is here. And when he said it, he said it so loud. The driver said, excuse me, you're talking to me? Like that. Wow, he heard it. Yes. Like that. And I look at him and I said, no, it's not. It wasn't. Forget about it. Like that. Forget about it. And then I start listening to him. Okay. Is, and I said to myself, right, messenger of God, he said, anything you, you want to tell me? Yeah. And he said, the wrath of God is here. And then he started downloading what happened in the past. Remember that time that, uh, that, I, that I reported that the Archangel Michael appeared yeah. to the elite? Mm -hmm. Remember I that? I remember that. Yes, I okay, remember that. So, in that in that um meeting in that meeting right mm -hmm. in the in the meeting the archangel michael he came down he appeared to the elite and he told them you were told to let god's people go you were warned many times and now all of you will be judged and one of them spoke to, to the to the uh, to the angel and said my lord please allow us we just don't have enough time we're doing the best we can we're doing as fast as we can and then the angel said not fast enough and the <laughs> angel said there will be earthquakes tsunamis and all type of manifest supernatural manifestation because the lord wants you to let the people go and that's happened last year. Remember when I reported that? I remember it very well. And all of a sudden, we celebrate the, two, the 400 year of the captives. And the next Yesterday. day, we got all, and not only the next day, on the same day, on the same night, we got the manifestation in the sun when I actually told you guys. Yes. The grid, remember that? Yes, it happens the grid. Last night, it was reported. <laughs> And that's the video. And today wow. we got two manifestations of the wrap of God. Okay, one was in Australia. Remember that night that day that, that night that I went to Reno, Nevada. Remember that, that I went to Reno, uh, Nevada? The only time that I have gone to Reno, Nevada, and yep. had a meeting with the elite. And I told you who was the highlight? Was in Australia? Yes, it was. Was in Australia. Yes, yes right? it was. Why yes. now God is wrapping the hand, his fury, in the land of Australia. Because part of the big elite is living in Australia. Now mm -hmm. they have two cyclones for the first time in history. Mm. Okay, this is the wrath of God. Whether you like it or not. The wrath of God is right here. Let my people go, said the Lord. Now that's what happened to Pharaoh when he didn't let the people okay. go. Okay, and then yep. we got the sun manifesting. 
And now we also have the news from Iraq. Remember what the, Johnny uh, posted? For those who that don't know about that, let me just give you the information right now. Okay, guys? Perfect. So what happened in, in Iraq, what is it? Let's see. Uh, currency, here it is. Let me go to Currency 365, and let me show you what I'm talking about. There was a, there was a disaster in, in Iraq. A ferry, uh, uh, a ferry was, it was sank and killed more than 100 people. Mm. All right, here it is. There you go. Doesn't fear death in Iraq ferry sinking. Why? Well, it's obvious, right? The cabal is obstructing the RB. And they, and they delaying the RB. And why is attacking, uh, uh, attacking the, uh, why, the, why God is manifesting by basically destroying their community, their, the transportation because they depend on transportation a lot. Yes, yes. They depend on transportation a lot and they were warned. The elite was there. Why yes. it happens and the signal in Reno. Hello. There was mm -hmm. a signal in the sky in Reno. Why? Because the meeting was in Reno. <laughs> the meeting was in Reno. The day that I couldn't go. The Reno, Reno, yeah, remember those criminals, yes, the same place where you've been praising, yes, that's the same place. Let my people go. Wow. Now they're missing with the right guy, with the wrong guy. They're missing with the wrong guy. And they're going to pay for it. They weren't warned by this angel. And now they're going to pay for it. On the same day of the 400 year of the captives, God is manifesting right now. <laughs> you can make this up, guys. This is amazing. You cannot make this up, I'm telling you. The hand of God, Ben. La manifestación de Dios está dando ahorita. ¿Qué pasó en Irak? Una gran desgracia. Se hundió un tren. Más de 100 personas han muerto. Mira lo que está pasando con el sol. Está mandando tormentas solares. Exactamente el día que yo te dije. Se manifestó el sol. Mira lo que está pasando en Australia. Dos ciclones por primera vez en la historia de la humanidad. Dos ciclones están tirándose en Australia. ¿Por qué Australia? Porque parte de la élite vive en Australia. El arcángel Miguel se presentó en Rino, Nevada. Cuando se manifestó y bajó y le dijo a todos los de la élite, deja a mi gente, deja a mi pueblo libre. Se les advirtió, dejen a mi pueblo libre. Y uno de la élite se, le, se levantó y dijo, Señor, por favor, estamos haciendo lo más rápido que podemos, danos más tiempo. Y vino el arcángel Miguel y le dijo, no han hecho nada. Va a haber inundaciones, va a haber erupciones. Va a haber sobrenaturales, va a haber desastres sobrenaturales, porque tienen que pagar, porque no deja a mi pueblo libre. ¿Qué pasó ahora? ¿Qué pasó ayer? Bueno, déjame manifestarte. El video que tuviste del sol pasó ayer. Están viniendo grandes tormentas solares. ¿Qué pasó ayer? El volcán Pococatepo de México está haciendo ahorita erupciones. Dos ciclones están tirándose en Australia y ahora muertos en Irak. Esta es la ira de Dios. ¿Por qué? Porque no dejan el pueblo libre, no lo dejan ir. A solamente dos días que estuvimos celebrando 
el año de los cautivos, Dios está enseñando su ira. And there's more. Because in Zimbabwe, oh God. Oh, brother, what's going on? I believe something happened in Zimbabwe. Hold on, let me see. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but there was something going on in Zimbabwe, if I'm not mistaken. And if we put all the pieces together, let me just tell you something. If we put all the pieces together, then Princess Bola prophesied that three day of the three yes. days of terror. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And Princess start... Bola prophesied that three days of terror. This is this she, isn't she? And we're in it. I think this is the beginning. Yep. Today and tomorrow and the next day. That three days of terror, people. La profeta Princess Bola también profetizó los tres días de terror. And we are in. This is it. This is it, guys. This is it. The wrath of God is here. La ira de Dios está aquí. And I've been telling you. If there is something that must be forced, is the elite, the <laughs> corrupt. Yeah, they need to be pushed. They need to be pushed. As you see, everything we've been talking about in my free show, and everything we've been talking about in my pay intel, is right there. Everything we've been talking about, my pay intel, is coming through, has come through. <laughs> everything. I mean, everything. Not a 90%, not 95%. Well, let's talk about 95%. Make it a 98%. <laughs> okay? Make it 98%. We were right. In the meantime, the gurus are talking about, we are going to change by the end of this month. <laughs> See that? Well, I'm sure the Lord's pressuring their personal life as well. Hey. You know. They, and they're going to be personal. Look, they are, just like in, in the type of Pharaoh, they are going to be forced. Yep. Yeah, they're going to be forced. Okay. Do not be. To grave surrender. Do, that's exactly. They cannot be, listen to all of this, they cannot be a grave surrender without resistance. Mm. We have resistance right now. There is no trade deal yet. There is no Brexit yet. There is no full government in Iraq yet, and they're all doing the same thing, going until when? June. <laughs> Did we tell well. you in the pay video? Oh, yeah. Yes, we did. Why? Because amazing. we are one step ahead of everybody, two step ahead of everybody. And three step ahead of everybody. And I'm going to say this one more time with the laugh of God to all my trolls and my enemies. Did I contradict myself? No, I did not. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. Nobody's exchanging until the Lord Jesus Christ says so. Nobody. I don't care who it is. You're not exchanging. Stop being a retard. This is God event and God event only. Nobody's going to take his glory. Nobody. So stop calling for the RB. Stop with the opium. Start with the opium. You are destroying life and you continue destroying life. 
This is God event. It was God event for the beginning, and it's going to be God event from the end. So stop with your BS. You're not exchanging. Until God glorify himself. Until your own knees bend. And glorify his name. Whether you believe in God or whether you are atheist. I don't give a damn. You're going to accept that fact. And that's why I came over here today. That's good. To make myself very clear. Nobody's exchanging until the Lord is being glorified. God will be glorified. It's going to take a miracle for the wealth <laughs> transfer to happen. Because the cabal does not want it. The enemy does not want it. The modern times of pharaohs do not want it. And just like in the times of Moses, we are going to see tremendous miracles, mm -hmm. supernatural miracles. Don't even be surprised that we see a miracle, a manifestation of God in some kind of a Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch. Don't even be surprised. Because many of you still believe in a very small God. Your God must be very small. My God is awesome. Mm -hmm. My God can do wonders. So my God is totally different. And the archangel spoke very clear. This is the wrath of God. What do you think? I love it. I love it. You know, while you were speaking, I heard the words domino effect. And, and once God puts his finger mm -hmm. uh, for the timing, we're going to see a domino effect throughout the world with all these events one after another click 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 yeah it'll be god's hand god's finger on the whole thing yep now i'm stating that uh they send me something here uh free speech vimeo removes church videos oh my god they're removing church videos they're gonna remove me too Hopefully not. Vimeo not removes church videos. Popular social media video site Vimeo has removed multiple videos from Oklahoma Fairview Baptist Church account after the church uploaded videos condemning homosexuality. Mm -hmm. The video was in the it. Church God's Voice conference that took place in February. Make a derogatory or inflammatory statements about individuals or group of people are intended to harm someone's reputation. Reputation, have an overall mean spirited vibe. I was afraid of that, you know. I was. <laughs> I mean, I don't condemn. That's the that's the problem about churches today, right? I've been saying it all the time. Start condemning people. It's mm -hmm. not your duty to start condemning people. All right? Love them. How about if you try love them? It's not being liberal. Love homosexuals. Call them. Lay, lay. Okay, we accept you. But guess what? We're going to love you. We're going to let you know why God doesn't accept you. How about that? Yeah. How about bringing to your, into the kingdom of God first? And then you talk, uh, talk things up and maybe let God, let the law convert them. How about mm -hmm. that? How about if you can stop condemning people? How about that? Can you do that? 
can you at least just do a little change of politics, a <laughs> policy? I don't know. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Just do mm -hmm. some something. If you know that your reaction, that your your practices, and I'm saying this as the best criticism, okay? I know you probably don't like it because I'm Catholic. That's fine. <laughs> but since you already practiced it before and you keep condemning people on and on and on, and maybe you feel good about it. How about if you change your ways? How about that? How about if you change your ways to see if you can save souls? Fish souls, fish men. How about that? Instead of being the judges on earth and feel confident that you have been put to send people to hell. How about if you change your ways? How about that? And I'm talking about this church of uh, Baptist Church. How about that? How about practicing love? How about practicing Jesus only, only, com uh, you know, com command, love one another? How about that? Yeah, the greatest command. The greatest command of all. How about that? How about if you stop condemning people to hell? How about that? Just change your ways, people. Just change your ways, you know? It's not going to be easy. By putting fear into people's heart, it's not going to work, people. Okay? Let them have fear once they, once they learn the God that you love and that you fear. How about that? You know what it's like to be in your situation? Let me just tell you what it is like. You see the people in Venezuela? The people in mm -hmm. Venezuela, they cannot say anything against the government. They can get killed. Mm -hmm. All right? Why? Because of fear. They see people getting killed. Okay? They don't like the government. They don't like communism. They don't like socialism. But they need to shut up because if they speak, they can lose their lives. Do you understand mm -hmm. that? True. So think about that with the policy that you guys are following right now against homosexuals, against sinners like me. Stop your policy of condemning souls. You have been commanded by God to save souls, not to condemn them. How about that? How about if you change your ways? How about inviting them over? We love all homosexuals. Please come over. We want to talk to you. We don't accept it, but we welcome you. This is your church. Welcome them. I know God's love will change you. How about that? How about leaving the God fight the fight for you? How about leaving God fight the fight for you? Can it's called that? Holy Spirit Conviction. That's the Holy, the Holy Spirit Conviction. You can yeah. accuse me for going to hell because I'm Catholic. That's fine. That's totally fine, my people. I've been <laughs> condemned to be going to, to, to hell from the beginning that I said I was Catholic. Oh, my goodness. All right? Because God even told me, don't ever even, don't even think about it, about Stop calling yourself Catholic. And I was like, why, my Lord? Why? Everybody does, is not Catholic. The whole majority is not Catholic. He said, you will find out why. And I found out the hard way. I was condemned <laughs> to go to hell. I was I condemned to go to hell. I was condemned by Protestants. But I don't know what religion I are. You cannot be my brother. Why? Because you believe in Mary. Oh my because goodness. you believe in Mary, you cannot be my brother. You believe in false gods. You believe in statues. The statues are making a miracle. No, you cannot be my brother. 
And then I realized how the beautiful wisdom of God told me not to ever stop calling myself a Catholic. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted me to open my eyes how most of all of you forget the number one command of Jesus. Love one to another. Love yes. one to another. What is so wrong about loving each other? What is so wrong about standing our BS? What is so wrong about it? Tell me. You got giving me all types of reason what to hate. Give me one reason how to love. One. Only one. Just give me one reason to love people. Only one. Just give me one reason. We can just be together and stop this fight about I am right and you are wrong. Give me one reason. Why can we just get along? Give me one reason. Why can we just love each other? Give me one reason. And stop the bickering. When I love somebody... I not only show it and tell them, look, I love you. No, I show it. I show it to people by actions. I don't come out over here, hey, I did this for this person, I did this for this person. I don't do that because I do not need people approval. All I need is the Lord approval. That's all. That is all I need. But this is what's happening right now. The church must go on. Must stop their BS about, no, you're going to hell because it says in the Bible. No, you're going to hell because you're Catholic. No, you're going to hell because you're gay. No, because you're gay and start giving it everything. Stop that. How about start loving now? And then you, you become and ask the question, why there's so many atheists? You guys did it. It's your fault. It's your fault. Why there's some Islamics, Muslim, they rather go, they rather, they rather go atheists. They become, most of them, Christians. You know why? Because they've been deceived by their own religion. They know it was false. They cannot go to the religion of Christianity or even Catholics because they also were sent to hell. <laughs> Think about that. You don't believe me? Go to David Wood. You'll see what I'm talking about. There is one guy called himself the apostasy prophet. He rather became an atheist than Christianity, than Christian. You know why? Because the moment that he wanted to become Christian, they sent them to hell. <laughs> and he said, wait a minute. I'm doing, I'm going to end up the same way. Think about that. Your policies or recruiting people is failing. Your policies of recruiting people to save is failing. How about acting now as Jesus would do? How about that? If Jesus accepted a prostitute and saved her life, how about you now? What are you going to do? Oh, you are a prostitute. You are a hooker. You're going to hell. Is that what you're going to do? That's exactly why many people, and God even told me, many, the pe many of the people who listen to you, Benny, many of the people who listen to your show, they pretend they know me. Very few know me. Did I contradict myself? No, I did not. Remember I told you that? Yeah, you did. That's why you God did. told me this. Many of you who are watching my show, you pretend, and you're so sure that you know God. You don't know God. 
You don't like know no God him. because if you don't know how to love, you don't know God. You need to know and you need to learn how to love. Stop being accusing people. Stop being sending people. Stop being so judgmental, people. Stop it. Okay, stop it. Start loving. How about loving? That's my point. And I hope that everybody understand it. This is why God woke me up in the morning, pressing his, his name. I said, wait a minute. The Lord wants me to pray his name. And I said, I want the whole world to love my Lord. Because God is pure love. God is so loving. It's so, you have no idea what I feel in my heart. You have no idea how beautiful the peace that I have in my, in my life. When I told you peace is within you, that's exactly what I mean. I want you to have the peace in Jesus. The only peace that can actually free you. Stop hating, man. Stop hating gay people. Gay people. Stop hating Catholics. Stop hating everybody. We all different. We all need to accept ourselves. What do you think about the I had mm -hmm. the breaking yep. intel. I had the breaking intel today. Let me just show you this. Remember how many, how many of uh, of my of my people been accusing me because I talk about it, extraterrestrial? I've been going through hell, and I'm talking about it with no disrespect to anybody, because I talk, I start talking about the extraterrestrial and what they want to, what they, what they have plans for a planet. And I, I come out with this new breaking new breaking intel, okay? Mm -hmm. The breaking intel. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, not this one. Let me go to Facebook. Let me go to Facebook and let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me uh, close all these uh, windows because people, are, again, <laughs> they keep sending me messages, man, when I'm live and I don't understand. Here we go. Let me show you this. <laughs> Here we go. Look. Breaking intel as a condition for the incoming interview. The world must not engage into a World War III before July 20, 2009. They told me today. Mm -hmm. So let me explain this in Spanish. Esta es la noticia que puse yo en español. Como condición al próximo contacto extraterrestre, la entrevista con el extraterrestre. El mundo no debe tener otra guerra mundial. ¿Por qué? Porque van a venir y nos van a decir a nosotros si queremos ser parte de la comunidad cósmica. Si nosotros aceptamos, porque no los van a poner ni los van a forzar. Si nosotros aceptamos a ser parte de la comunidad cósmica, nos van a dar todas las tecnologías que necesitamos para terminar con la pobreza, la desigualdad, la miseria. Y lo van a dar energía eterna. Más todo lo que necesitamos para curarnos de todas las enfermedades que tenemos. A cambio de que dejemos de odiarnos. A cambio de que dejemos de discriminarnos por el color de nuestra, de, de nuestra piel. Por, 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 la, por, la, por cualquier tipo de cosa. Necesitamos querernos y amarnos unos a los otros. Si estas personas que vienen a, de fuera del este planeta... Entienden eso. ¿Por qué le llamas ángeles caídos? ¿Por qué? ¿Quién te dijo a ti que son ángeles caídos? ¿Quién? This will be, I seen a demon talking like that. Why are they putting us as a condition that they want to come over? And have a contact with us. Because they don't want us to have. They don't, they don't want to be associated with us. With a society. With a planet. That the only thing they care about. Is destructing. You know. Destroying ourselves. They're going to mm -hmm. come over. And they're going to ask us. Does the people on the planet earth. Want to be part of the community. In the cosmic. In the universe.
universe? Do you want to be part of the universe? If you say yes, we're going to give you all the technology that you need. Technology that will get rid of poverty once and for all. Technology that, mm -hmm. can, that can bring you prosperity in your lives. You don't have to even leave that. If you want to stay in planet Earth, stay in planet Earth. They're not going to force you over here. They just, want you to, they just want you to know that this is your last chance. You want to be part of the cosmic, and the cosmic era, then we're going to give you all that. We're going to give you all the cures for every single illness that we know. We're going to make the big disclosure. Why the government has been hiding from you. And the only condition you need to do is stop being and fighting to each other. Stop wanting to destroy yourself. Stop this, this massive nuclear industry that can wipe out humanity. Stop doing that. And we're going to give you whatever you guys want for the good of your humanity. That's what they're coming. They're not our saviors. I have said it all the time. They're not our saviors. They're not come to save. Want the option? Good. We, you don't want the option? We are leaving and we're not coming back. Why? Because they respect us. They will respect us since they put us over here on earth. But many of you believe that they are the fallen angels. The reason why they're coming over here is because our destruction is so <coughs> eminent, so eminent, that we can wipe ourselves up just like that. Millions will die. Trillions will die. So they want to want to stop the world the nuclear uh, industry the military industry. You want to be part of the cosmic universe community. It's gonna be an option. It's not gonna be force. Okay, and then if we decide that we need to be part, we are, we want to be part of it. Many of you will say yes. I want to cure my mother. I want to cure my my father. I have cancer. Yes, I want to do that. And then maybe we can meet Jesus. Yes, you heard it. Maybe this is the time when Jesus will come back. Maybe we can do that. Maybe uh, we are totally wrong what the Bible says. Maybe that's, that's the way it is. Maybe Jesus loves us so much that he's given us one more chance. How about that? Can you, can, you, can you just think about it? Maybe, maybe Jesus just changed his mind. He want to save us all this pain. Because when they come back, it will change your paradigm. It will change your reality. It will be. Yep. That's the reality. Why can you just be bold and just say it? I'm not afraid because you haven't seen what I have seen. You haven't experienced what I have experienced. You haven't seen what I, I've been there. I have seen them. They offer me to cure me from my diabetes. Did you know that? I knew that. They, they offer me that. They offer me, Benny, we can cure you for diabetes right now. You want to take this pill like that. You want to take this pill and cure yourself from diabetes. I look at him and I said, no. And he said, why? I want to be part of the new paradigm with the rest of the world. I want to be part with the new paradigm with the rest of my brothers and sisters. If I get cured, let everybody get cured. That's 
Maybe that's the reason why okay. they continue talking to me. Because I got nothing to be selfish. I don't like to be prosperity. The real richness is what you have in your heart. If you have love for humanity, you have love for, for God, you have love for humanity, guys. That's it. I'm no saint. I'm a sinner. I'm waking up, guys. How about you? That's good, Ben. <clears throat> it's incredible, man. It's really incredible, incredible what we're going through right now. And uh, people need to wake up. You know. Well, we're right in the middle. We're right in the middle of the shift, right into the new yep. paradigm. It's shifting and it's shifting. It's, uh, getting violent, and that's what the Lord said it would happen, right? Yep. It had to be get. It was going to get violent. It's going to get violent. Nobody told you. Only the gurus told you that this is going to be so nice. Nothing's going to happen. And they're continuing being wrong all the time. All the time. Él les dije. Así que, o se quieren juntos, señores, o ustedes se van a querer, o no van a ser parte de la comunidad cósmica. Van a tener que empezar a quererse, amarse. Como verdaderos hijos de Dios. All right. Well, anyway. Corinthians. Yes. Talks about love. Can you read it, please? The Bible. Yeah. You're right. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor other people. It is not self-seeking. Mm -hmm. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Mm -hmm. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It mm -hmm. always protects, always trusts, big favor when if you're gonna mail me something don't forget to put a letter and with your email. do me that favor people so I'm gonna mention just That's the first name idea. but this guy I'm not gonna mention the first name. I'm gonna mention both the whole name John John uh, much god bless you brother i got your check um ernest i got your contribution thank you so much okay and let me see your letter here i gotta read this letter uh it says um where did i dial put that currency as always i was answered within three days benny i know i know it is not much uh, on one of your shows, you said you would like some, and that it was, it was what? <laughs> Had to get, perhaps, it will eventually pay uh, for a dinner out. Uh, thank you for the, um, the amazing intel today. Looking to be an incredible spring. Uh, I, I could feel it made me cry when you sing joy 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 yeah it makes a lot of people yeah. cry. because of your show i feel good speaking to me a little louder thank you so thank you for your letter um i don't have my glasses That's right now beautiful yeah it was beautiful uh, and you know i i, I i'm not lying Where when i read glass? your last minute oh, cry. uh i got uh. so far 40, I think I have 40, 60, almost a hundred dollars Canadian dollars. And uh, I haven't even, uh, I haven't even uh, be able to exchange it. I have a hundred, 120, I have 120 Canadian dollars. 
Wow. Uh, also, Very somebody true. somebody sent me, Ernest sent me um, 100 Bolivars, Venezuelan Bolivars. That's, that's interesting. Yes, the, and that's the new one, not the old one. So wow. he probably went to Venezuela. They're not letting anybody to get the, the currency out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so thank you for your 100 Bolivars. It's one to one, one day. Um, mm -hmm. This one has no name. This one is from Victoria. Victoria, thank you for your donation, Victoria. And let me see <laughs> your letter. Victoria says, in Spanish, una carta de Victoria. Deseo todo corazón que se encuentre bien, recibe muchas bendiciones, que Dios nos bendiga, que no sea solo y siempre estés con nosotros. Las oraciones siempre, siempre son escuchadas. Cuídese mucho, Vic, Vicky. Ok, Vicky, muchas gracias por tu aportación. Muchas gracias. Dios te bendiga. Dios te come bendiciones. Vicky, that's Victoria in, in Spanish. Uh, and thank you for your letter. I read in Spanish. And I got the other one from Rodrigo. Ooh. I got a letter from Rodrigo, and Rodrigo says in Spanish the following. La carta de Rodrigo. <laughs> Hola, Benny, ¿cómo estás? No conocemos en persona, tal vez en un tiempo más Dios que, uh, uh, que nos ponga juntos, así sea. La primer, lo primero, gracias por tu aporte desde, uh, desde hace un año y medio que te sigo por Facebook. Y ahora... Say something. It really doesn't yeah. matter if you guys donate me one dollar. For me, it's one million dollars. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Don't yeah, say, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm, I'm sorry I just oh. donated you this. Don't be sorry, people. Mm -hmm. Don't be sorry. I'm telling you honestly. If you can at least donate me one dollar, that's a blessing for me. Believe it or not, I take it like a big, huge contribution. We tell you, buy... Uh, spend, uh, spend 30 bucks on it? No. I tell you, it only will cost you $9.99. I have a lot of people saying, look, I made a mistake. I send you, I send you 30 bucks. Today I got a guy like that. I send you 20 bucks in, my, in your PayPal account and now I don't have money to pay. Those and my haters, they throw up that, that stuff on my face. But I know in my conscience it's very clean and in peace in God that I'm not here to make myself rich from anybody. I'm here to help you guys. Yeah, amen. All right? I'm here to help you guys. You don't need to pay $20, 20 99 to sell, I mean, to buy my video. What can you just rent it for $9.99? Now you're not going to last one day, of course, right? But once you, that's all you need. Don't you think so? Nope. Take a few notes. Take yeah. a few notes. And... Yeah. Take a few notes and that's it. All right? Yeah. So or take don't, pictures don't of be the saying, screen. Don't be saying, you know, this is all I got. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. For me, one dollar is beautiful. Yeah. Primero, a, que a las personas que me dicen que no tengo mucho dinero, no te preocupes por eso. Mira, un dólar que me tú me estás dando a mí, para mí es una bendición. Un dólar, hermano. No digas eso. Ok, así que dice, uh, enorme cantidad de dinero que te estoy enviando, pero dice que es de corazón y, y de acuerdo a mi situación, decidí enviarte un dólar. Mira, un dólar, me parece. She sent me a dollar. Thank you so much. Thank you. She sent me one dollar. Thank you so much. I appreciate it from, from the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I do appreciate it. One dollar, my, my goodness. Thank you. Trust right. me, to God, that dollar could be more than a uh, hundred dollars from another person. Yeah, it, it, you know? God looks at it different. Yeah. So, there's a oh, the vida que sea uh, las mitas de son 50 estados que está. And um, I, 
estoy leyendo tu carta. Muchas gracias, corazón. Muchas gracias. Gracias por tu dólar. Te lo agradezco con todo el corazón. No puedo leer toda la carta porque me, ya me tengo que ir. Anyway, guys. So, there's a lot of letters that I wish I could read in my sh almost eight. And for the people who live in Puerto Rico, they are falling asleep. I pray this <laughs> donation. <laughs> I pray this donation gets to you. Maybe the Lord, our prayers, the Lord may take care of you and, and over you. God bless. Ernest. Thank you, Ernest. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Ernesto. Thank you so much, guys. You see, at least I try to read some of your letters, guys. All right? Beautiful hearts. Yeah, yes. beautiful uh, people. I got another one here. Dear Benny, please accept this small gift for all what you've done and all what you are. Indy. And, oh, mm. she, she left me her email. Good. I'm going to send you an email. Okay? There you go. And uh, there you go. Five dollars. You see? Thank you so much, Very my sweetheart. Nice. Thank you so much. God bless you. There you go, guys. Look, I I give you my time. I don't regret it. Sometimes I really worry about it, but guys, wait, you guys, you should know, right? You know, it's not like the other lady who told me that, why am I calling a Christian? And why am I worrying about having money? If you really believe in God, that he will take care of you, well, I guess believes that God is sending has her own uh, payroll. I'm not in God's payroll. <laughs> if you know how to get into God's payroll, please let me know. Write me at Benny Intel, RB at Gmail.